video, me and Luna are going to be showing you guys our bedside nursery setup. So if you'd like to see how that looks, then just keep on watching. I wanted to make this video because towards the end of my pregnancy, I was trying to figure out how I was going to have the room set up for when baby comes. And obviously when you're pregnant, you are in the nesting mode and you want to have everything ready and organized for when the baby comes. And I was obsessed with having her nursery set up and her crib put together and everything just set up in her nursery, which, there goes that, which in reality is really unnecessary because the baby is going to be sleeping next to you for a long, not a long time, but you know, for the first couple months of their life. So if you're pregnant and you're watching this, I would highly suggest putting more time and energy into your bedside nursery than the actual baby nursery because most of you and the baby's time is gonna be spent here, especially those nights when baby first comes home and they're waking up every two to three hours to eat like you just want to make sure you have everything right beside you so I figured I would make this to be helpful to pregnant moms or new moms just to see how you can like organize and set everything up so first thing I guess I'll start with is her bassinet this is the beside me I forgot the name of it, but I will post a picture of it and I will try to link everything down below. It was a gift from my registry. I used Bye Bye Baby. And I love this bassinet. I feel like it's pretty big. Like, I don't know if all bassinets are the same size, but I feel like it's a pretty big bassinet. Um, she's four and a half months and she still fits in it. I know a lot of people say they don't like this bassinet because, let me see if I could do this, um, it like kind of wobbles. But the point of it doing that is for you to be able to rock the baby back and forth and kind of like rock them to sleep. So it's not going to like break down and fall apart. But I, I mainly like it because of the color. Like I feel like that light, I think the color is called Driftwood. Um, I feel like this light gray color like really goes with our bedroom and our whole like aesthetic in our apartment. The main feature that I like about it is it goes down, I don't know if you can see from there. Um, but it goes down on the side so that way in the middle of the night when you have to pick up your baby whether it's to breastfeed or you know just to like rock them and soothe them um, you don't have to like get out of the bed and like reach over to grab them like you can easily just grab them that is really useful for me like in the middle of the night when she's like crying and fussing like I'll just kind of like reach my arm over grab her bobo her pacifier stick it back in her mouth and she goes back to sleep. So I think that is the best part of the bassinet, the fact that it like goes down. Um, it doesn't exactly reach up to the height of our bed, but that's okay. And you could also attach it to your bed. There's like a little um, strap. We don't use that. Um, it just stays up against our bed just fine. Then in this little corner over here, we have our sound machine. That is the, I think it's the hatch. Oh, she's so sleepy. The Hatch sound machine. And then that little owl. I can't remember the names of anything. I did not prepare for this video. I'm trying to do everything quickly. Mom life now. That basically is a projector. So it is also a nightlight. It does have sound. Like it is also a sound machine, but we don't use it for that because we have the sound machine right next to it. But I mainly use it as a projector. So it um, projects onto the ceiling and it has like these little moons and stars so she can like look up at that in the middle of the night so we mainly just use it as a projector but if you wanted something that was like an all-in-one like a projector sound machine and nightlight it has multiple uses so next to the owl we have our sound machine we love this thing um, we started using it like as soon as she got home from the hospital um, Will is very techy. He likes any products that have like an app to go along with it. So the Hatch sound machine has an app. You can control everything from your app. Honestly, like I've never not used the app. Like I've never pressed the buttons on the actual machine. I've just always adjusted it from my phone, which is really helpful because sometimes I'll be putting her to sleep and I'm rocking her to sleep and sometimes like I want to turn the light down even lower. 
and then also in the middle of the night when I'm changing her diaper I don't want to fully turn the lamp like the, all the lamps and the lights on because I don't want it to be too bright so I'll just turn that on and I'll adjust it with my phone I don't know if I can say that she relies on it to go to sleep but I think it does help and I feel like it's kind of helped me to sleep as well so that's one thing. I know there's like a bunch of sound machines out there, but I don't know. I like this one mainly for the fact that you can adjust it from your phone. Then over here, this has been a lifesaver. I think this is the best thing that I've done when it comes to buying things for baby is this cart. So this cart is from Bed Bath & Beyond, but you can get a cart like this literally from anywhere like Target or michaels or ikea they have these ev everywhere this has been really really helpful obviously we don't have like an actual changing table in our room for her so everything that we need for her like during the middle of the night is here so that way we don't have to go to her nursery get items come back like when you are in the middle of the night especially with like a brand brand new newborn like in the first like month or two like you are so sleep deprived and I know you hear that so much everywhere like oh my god say goodbye to sleep but like it's really true so to save your sleep and your sanity in any way like you're gonna want to do anything so to avoid having to go to her room or anywhere else to grab anything I got everything I needed for her for the middle of the night and put it here and it has been really really helpful when I first bought it and she wasn't here yet I put a bunch of unnecessary shit that I didn't need and as time went along and we were becoming like more familiar more comfortable we like I changed it out and took out the things that I didn't need and now it works for us and I have things that are like super essential for nighttime with Luna on the top we have our wipe warmer and some people feel like a wipe warmer is unnecessary we feel that the wipe warmer has been a game changer especially in the middle of the night and especially now that it's getting colder outside when you're changing her in the middle of the night or you change your baby in the middle of the night like you do not want to wake them up more than they already are because sometimes they wake up to eat and they're kind of like half asleep and if you're changing them and you put a cold wipe on them like that can like wake them up and shock them then next to the wipe warmer we have our diapers our diapers of choice are huggies i like huggy diaper the best i have this little bin i just put them in this little bin and all the little bins in here are from home goods i just use little bins to just kind of store and organize everything so i put her down so i can show you what's in the rest of the carts and i have this little tray bin thing where i put her dirty bottles i just fed her a little while ago so i put one there um i just put this here because again in the middle of the night i don't want to go to the kitchen bring the bottles so i just like line up all the bottles here that i've used from the nighttime, and in the morning i'll put them in the sink um, I also have her nipples here for her ready to feed bottles, which I'll show you in a second. Then in the second section, I have a changing pad. So we have two of these changing pads. We have one that we keep in her diaper bag and one that we keep here, which at first we only had one and we were grabbing it, using it for nighttime, putting it back. So Will was like, why don't we just get a second one? Um, so basically I use this I literally put it right here at the edge of the bed every night and this is where I change her obviously my comforter is white I don't want to get it dirty with poop pee spit up anything so I just take this out change her on it wrap it back up and then put it in there this has been also really helpful again in the middle of the night if you if she has a blowout and you get it all over your bed not only do you have to clean her up but then you have to go change your sheets change your comforter I don't want to do all that again anything I can do to save my sleep it's gonna be in here then I just have an extra pack of wipes here I like the Pampers aqua pure wipes um, this is for a backup for the wipe warmer just in case they run out again I don't have to go to the room get more wipes to put in here so I leave this here for the wipe warmer you just like open this up take all the wipes out and put it in 
so extra backup just in case then this is like her little medicine cabinet um she hasn't really gotten sick thank god not yet but just in case she does we have her baby tylenol we have um like the medicine droppers or you know the things to give her the medicine this is a little pacifier to dispense the medicine obviously i haven't used it yet i don't know if it's any good um then we also have gripe water and we have gas drops we don't use this section too much but just in case if anything happens she gets a fever or anything everything is right here then this oh my god ready to use formula god sent this has saved us so if you are a mom that is formula feeding like me which there is nothing wrong with ready to use formula is the best it's going to be your best friend this has made it so easy you don't have to go in the middle of the night make a bottle pour the water put in the formula shake it up heat it up none of that you take this you unscrew it this is the nipples that i was talking about you put the nipple on and that's it you feed them i can't say how much this has saved us especially with traveling so for two reasons at nighttime yeah you love your formula especially when they are just coming home from the hospital and they're eating every two hours every three hours also the best for traveling we don't travel with her much because of covid and it's just a lot of work to travel with a baby but when we are going somewhere with her this is literally just the easiest thing um instead of having to bring water bring powder a little powder dispenser shake it up pouring it like it's just messy so this is the best thing if you are formula feeding your baby i highly suggest getting these ready to use bottles they come in different sizes too she was at first drinking the two ounce bottles now we've moved on to the six ounce bottles so super helpful love these i have like two of them ready because now she's four and a half months so she only really wakes up <laughs> once during the night and that's it so i just have some here and then i have the rest of the box stashed away there for when i have to refill so the formula she's using I don't know how to say this. I don't know if it's Nutramagen or Nutramagen. I think it's Nutramagen. Um, the thing about the Nutramagen ready to use, they don't sell it at like Target or Walmart. So I have to literally order it from the Enfamil website. That's the only way that I can get it, which is kind of annoying. Like I wish I could just go to Target and just grab it, but I have to order it. So I order it in bulk. So that way I never run out. A lot of the different formulas come in this ready to use bottle um before this she was using the gentle ease that also comes in the ready to use bottles i know a bunch of the similax do okay then at the bottom of the cart i have these two bins these were from home goods and in these two bins i just have backups of everything pretty much i have backup onesies i have backup swaddles i have backup burp cloths i have backup bassinet sheets anything that might get dirty i have in here so again i don't have to go to her room go to her dresser get a new onesie for when there's a blowout when she <laughs> spits up um everything is right here that i need so luna's back so next to the cart we have our diaper genie i wish i would have gone with a different brand i feel like it's necessary because you do need something to put the baby's dirty diapers because where are you gonna put it in the middle of the night yeah i have a garbage in my room but it's out in the open and the whole room is gonna smell so diaper genie in particular i i wish i would have gone with a different brand obviously i didn't know this is my first baby i've never had any baby products before so i just went the went with the diaper genie because that was the most popular brand when it came to like garbages for diapers i would not buy a diaper genie i wouldn't suggest it i feel like when we put the diapers in there it still smells in the room it's like it doesn't keep the smell in there like i feel like it's just good because it's it's small it's compact and you know it just fits in a corner somewhere and it's somewhere to put your diapers but other than that like it doesn't keep the smell away so 
wouldn't suggest it as she's getting sleepy so we're gonna wrap this up so that's pretty much it for today's video comment down below let me know what videos you would like to see next whether it's postpartum videos or reviewing baby items I'm definitely going to be doing a video on my birth story, my birth experience because it was a lot and <laughs> it was it was a lot. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to dedicate a whole video to that. Um, but comment down below. Let me know what other mommy videos you would like to see next. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.